Today I will talk about something that we have in almost every app. I will talk about images and how to work with them in .NET MAUI. Hi, welcome to another .NET MAUI video. Today we will talk about images and how to work with them in .NET MAUI. If you like what I am doing, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. But now let's go to Visual Studio. So here we have a .NET MAUI project, a very simple one. We have a vertical stack layout and we have an image. And the image here is the default .NET bot that you have in the project template. And if you go here to the Solution Explorer, we can see that we have a resource folder and we have an images folder. And here we have the .NET bot, but as an SVG, here we can see that we use PNG. And the reason for that is that .NET MAUI are converting your SVG file to a PNG when it compiles the app. So if we now want to add another image here, we go to the image folder, click add and add an existing file. And I have this burger that we can use. So we instead add burger png and here we can see that we have the nice burger so what we can do now is that we can work with aspects so we can say aspect fit nothing will happen and the reason of that is that that is default so we can instead go and say aspect fill and it will fill the image control and it more or less zooming in and that is pretty nice because you always know what the size of the image will be and it will keep the ratio of it. So instead of aspect fit, where you will have this white on the side because it will not fill up the image control. But that is good for some cases and aspect fit is good for some cases. And then you also can set fill and then it will fill up the available space without caring about the aspect ratio and that means that it will just stretch the image and the last option is that you can say center and that means it will zoom to center and as you can see now it doesn't care about the height request either so if we take a look at the type of this source it's image source and what we used now is the file image source but we can use that only as a string like this because it have a type converter. Mm. But if we now instead want to use a URL because we maybe have an image on internet, we can use the URL image source too. So then we can take this uh, skyline from the .NET frontend website and we can see here we can say it aspect fill also if we want to and it would now be loaded but if we want to set some caching uh, rules here for example we can instead do like this so we remove source from here and then we do like this adding a close tag and now we say image.source and now we create a u URI image source and here we can set URI and that will be this and now we can set caching to enabled true we can set a cache validity and that is a time span so we can add like this to have it to 10 days so and now we can run that and now we got this error and that is because we have the wrong type here. We have bundle resource and that is set by default. That it works the first time was because of hot reload. But now we need to go and set it to Maui image. I don't really know why this is not default. I hope they will fix that in the coming releases of Visual Studio. But now we can go and rebuild it. And then we can run the app again and it will hopefully work. Yeah, and now we have the image here. It looks exactly like the same, but we have been able to set some extra caching properties. If we want to show 
a byte array in the image control. For example, if we have loaded an image from a file picker into the app, we want to show that byte array. And we can do that, and we can use the stream image source, but we cannot just set a byte array to the source property like uh, this binding image bytes, a property that I already created. This will not work. I will show you that. As you can see, we don't have an image here. So, what we need to do then is to create a converter. So, we do that. We create a new class and we call it bytes to image converter. We will have an i value converter implement that interface and then we will go to the convert method we don't need to care about convert back right now and then we will cast the objects to a byte array value and we can also add a null check here to be sure that we don't will have an exception so if that is null uh, we just return null. Okay, so now we have a byte array and then we can do like this. Our stream source is image source dot from stream and now we need to create a memory stream so we do like this new memory stream and then we pass the byte array there okay and then we need just to return the stream source so now we can go back to the saml and we need port the converter so we add the namespace and that is right now the root so we do like that, images, and then we create a resources dictionary, resources, and here we can add the converter that we have in root, byte image converter, give it a key to image for example, and now we are ready to use it here. So we say converter, static resource, to image and then we can run the app and now we have the image here and we have loaded it from a byte array so this was a short video about how to get started to work with images in dotnet maui i hope you liked it and if you did like the video and please subscribe to my channel because there will be more dotnet maui content